You had kind of the one special team highlight of that game. Can you kind of take us through that play? Um, the Flint Flicker. <laughs> that's, that's the play call, actually. Um, it was pretty cool. Did you cool. come up with that? that no, game? that was all uh, Dalton and uh, Coach Manning. So, okay. Um, we drew that up beginning of the season, and we've just been running it every week, just getting ready, just waiting to call it. Um, and it just happened that Oregon gave us the look that we wanted, and so we called it and kind of blacked out in the moment a little bit. I don't remember <laughs> the whole play, but... Uh, the second the ball left my hand, I've never been more afraid in my life. Um, so I'm just happy Fern was there and he caught it and got the first down. So it was definitely one of the more exciting moments of my career. Well, I'm curious, what did you see out of Oregon that signaled, let's do this? Um, well, it, it wasn't really my call. It was okay. the coaching. Yeah, it's all in the coaches. Yeah. Um, I just listen to it and do it when they call it. Um, but it was more just when they um, when it was a team showing hold-up looks stuff not rushing too heavy they actually rushed on that one and we got away with it but um just they yeah they showed us what we wanted and Fern got open and we got first down when nice. you heard that call what, what were you thinking in that moment when you um I going? immediately shut my mind off because I knew if I thought about it leading up to it I would probably mess it up um and then when I got the snap um I was just waiting for Fern to get open because it took a little longer than in practice, obviously switching from practice to games and whatnot. Um, and the second I saw him open, I just went for it and uh, thank God he caught it. But like I said earlier, the second it left my hands, I've never been more afraid in my life. How so. do you turn the noise off? You say you just stop thinking. How did you do that? Uh, all that just, going on. I mean, you just take a deep breath and just I don't know usually I'll just like look down or something it's it's hard to explain it just kind of happens after playing for years um, you just learn how to do it so. what's the success rate of that in practice you said you do we it completed it okay. every time okay. yeah so it was a it was a great play call like draw the drop of, of it and everything um, throughout my years I think that was the most like like I knew that was going to work from the second we called we drew it up so um I, I, yeah, I liked it. I was, I, I'm glad we called it this year. You know, it was fun, that's for sure. We, we talked to you last week about not placing, you talked about not placing that your punts inside the hash. I, I know you didn't mean to, but it was, <laughs> and it was just barely there, but it was inside yeah. there. How much do you think that contributed to that return? Um, no, that, that one's fully on me. Um, so that was a prime example of why we don't kick it in the middle of the field, because yeah. returners nowadays are just too good. Um, so yeah, it was a cross kick drop, so it was actually supposed to go to the right of the field. Um, and I just missed, and when you're doing a cross field left to right, you don't want to miss in the middle because then it goes straight down the middle. Yeah. Um, and that's that's what happened. And that's on me. Um, so, you know, take notes from it and film today. Um, and then tomorrow, just completely forget about it, move on to next week and just work on what I want to work on to make sure that doesn't happen again. That was obviously kind of a rough game across the board on special teams for you guys. How do you come back this week and kind of refocus and, and, and kind of put it out of your memory or, or, or do you specifically address each thing that happened and, and work on that? Yeah, um, that's what Mondays are for. You know, you watch the film, you take your notes from it, you address what went wrong and how to fix it. We come out here on the field, we do that. And then starting tomorrow, we just get back in our rhythm. Um, overall, this year we've been extremely um, focused and detail-oriented on special teams. You just can't be perfect, um, and sadly, a lot of it happened in the same game. Um, but again, like Coach Kelly always says, the most prepared team will come out on top on the weekend, um, and that's what we're going for this week. So we're just gonna, you know, put our head down, our heads down, just get back to work, um, focus on what we've been focusing on all year, um, clean it up, and then we'll much better this weekend, that's for sure. How many of the uh, coaches who work with specialties have we seen Deshaun Foster working with the five returners, uh, Coach Rhodes with the Gunners, yeah, uh, obviously Coach Manning. Are, are, am I missing anybody? Is there other guys who um, out? Yeah, so Coach Manning, he's the coordinator, right. obviously. Um, and then we have multiple coaches helping out. So uh -huh. Coach Deshaun, he's with returners. Right. Um, Coach Sage, I know he helps out a lot with the core uh, the core guys on punt and punt return. Just with blocking and release type of and stuff. Um, Coach Fry, he's, he does football. Okay. Um, so it's it's a whole team effort, uh, obviously, like every um, facet of football is. Um, but uh, Coach Manning is the head of it. And I think he does a great job. I've been very impressed with him all year.
what, what impresses you about working with him in a special team capacity? Um, he's just, his focus on it and what he emphasizes, his drills and whatnot, I just feel like they translate over uh, very well. Um, obviously, this past game isn't like the best example of it, but that's not all on him. You know, you can't just blame one person, um, especially a coach. So um, we just have to go out and remember our training. You know, like I said, turn your mind off, let your body do it, knows what to do. Um, I think we just kind of got away from that this weekend um, as players, um, and we'll clean that up this week. And next week will be much better. So. That was the first time you caught a pass in one of we got to feel to kind of get back in the flow of things like that. Oh, I felt really good. Yeah, just to get that confidence back, I think, is the main thing. So, yeah, definitely felt good. How would you feel like the confidence of the receivers group is right now as a whole? Because you guys have had a few drops in the past couple mm-hmm. weeks. Um, I think it's definitely something that we've been struggling with all year, but also something that I think kind of just comes and goes. So if you're going to have drops, you're going to have mistakes. Um, as you guys can see, we're still kind of figuring ourselves out as a as an entire team so it's just something that we've been uh, having a little bit of trouble with but definitely something we've been trying to focus on how do you guys kind of uh, it's, you guys had that nice two game winning streak and then two kind of rough games in a row and you guys kind of refocus and get, get back to the right track at this point um i think a lot of it's getting out of our own way uh, the last two games i think a lot of it came down to us just shooting ourselves in the foot you know, simple things like ball starts, um, like little holding penalties, or just not getting lined up, not being the right personnel, whatever uh, the case may be. It's a lot of stuff that we can fix, not a lot of things that the other team is necessarily doing better than us, just um, administrative things that we need to, to focus on and fix uh, during the week so we don't have those things during the game. What do you attribute that to? Where did the sloppiness come from? Um, you know, a lot of it is it's really just focused during the game. You know, you get fatigued, you kind of get caught up in, in the, you know, the atmosphere of the game. So I think that you're trying to balance that dynamic as well as focusing on what the task at hand is, in both individually and as a team. So I think um, just trying to figure out that balance um, as an individual and then as a unit is probably the, the main thing. So this is kind of the end for you these last three games of your college career. What do you want? What are you looking for? Or what do, how do you want to like finish out, finish things out here? Um, you know, for me, it's mainly just uh, coming out with victories. I, I don't really care if I have one catch or if I have, you know, 10 catches and 100 yards in each of these games. I really just want to come out with three Ws. So that's really the main thing for me. Having those self-inflicting wounds, is it, does it make it more frustrating to walk away from a game saying that, you know, we lost this one? It's not like they just dominated us. Um, I think so. You know, you, you definitely look back at those mistakes that you made, and, and they're so minute, but, you know, at the same time, they're, they're really big. Um, you know, a lot of coaches always emphasize the little things matter, and it definitely holds true in the last few games, especially these last two that we've lost. You see that those little small details, like ball starting on a field goal, uh, you know, kind of puts JJ in a situation where he has to kick an even further field goal, especially when we're in an away game in a hostile environment. It makes it harder, but, um, you know, just little tiny things like that, they hurt, but at the end of the day, they're very correctable. Have you seen Chip Kelly's culture, like, become stronger as the season's gone on. Now you guys only have three games left in the year. Um, I think not only him, but ourselves. We just kind of just trust the system a lot more. We're a lot more comfortable with it. Uh, the offense, just the way that everything flows. We're a lot more comfortable with the schedule of everything and uh, you know, balancing out school. We've been in school for a couple weeks now. And uh, I think just figuring out you know, how to balance everything, both on and off the field, has helped us really kind of find our groove.